Hello all in the Honor UK community. This is Sasko again with a little tips and tricks video on the Magic Book and its Magic Link feature, which basically means you can connect your Honor or Huawei smartphone uh, straight to the computer and, you know, use its larger screen, um, uh, copy files over and that sort of thing. But I guess the first thing to note would be that you're going to need a phone that has either Magic UI 3 or above or EMUI 10 or above. So basically we're looking at um, the phones with Android 10 or the you know Honor and Huawei's version of Android 10. So the best way to check up on that would be I will put a link in the description and that'll give you the honors official rundown because obviously that's you know subject to change with uh, phones getting updated etc and another kind of note would be if you do have a, a magic book is you know do kind of take care of the sticker because the sticker itself is the nfc badge so you know any kind of nasty scrapes or whatever gouges into it could actually damage it so that would just be a little note so First thing, it's pretty easy to set up. I'm going to use my Honor 20 Pro for this one. So you just want to make sure that you have your Wi-Fi connection and they're connected to the same uh, device or router. You've got your Bluetooth on and you get your NFC on. And then it is just a matter of tap that. And the phone itself wants to make sure that that is what I intended to do. And it is. So hit OK and then up it comes on the magic book itself. And it gives you a little notification that it's connected. And there you can already see uh, Sun's uh, lovely um, reflection from the phone screen. Um, you can see it's ready to display in there and it will actually react on the laptop any of my uh, presses there but what I was going to do first off was just a quick test and here I've opened up the gallery let me just pause here and uh, zoom in a little bit there we go move the screens around a little bit and as you can see I'm still connected to the um, Honor 20 Pro here um, there's obviously lots of things you can do once you've actually connected the phone um, but I guess a kind of a common enough use case would be um, transferring files forward and back between your laptop and your phone. So I thought I'd give it a go here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to time the uh, transfer of five large video files. Uh, they are 4.27 gigs and I'm going to transfer them over with Magic Link and see how long that takes. It should be pretty um, pretty fast but also then I will transfer the same videos um, via a Bluetooth connection, which I am suspecting will be uh, quite painful, but we'll see how it goes. So I had kind of debated whether I would just, um, you know, drape the uh, Magic Watch 2 over on the screen for timing, but I think I'll just do it with the screen just so it's uh, hopefully not, you know, trying to focus on the wrong section of the screen on that. So... I will copy them over. It's, it's not going to be the most scientific of tests in the sense that I'm going to have to click on go after. I'm going to drag them over and as you can see it's going to say copy there and then I'm going to quickly flick over and start the timer. Add a second or two on for my ineptness on clicking. So you can see there it was about 1 minute 50, call it 55 uh, seconds there as I was slow to react. And uh, I'm going to try that again on a Bluetooth connection. Uh, the sending and, you know, sending and receiving files on the Bluetooth is a little bit more convoluted. So I shall pause here again and fire that up. So here I have the same five files ready to send. And of course I'm going to have to accept on the phone before you know before it actually starts which will make timing it a little bit better uh, 
and it has an incoming request. So I've accepted that. And now I can start timing it. And it is going to take some time, I think. It's 0%, but it is indeed sending. But uh, it is, yeah, I'm going to do a time lapse on this one, I think, because uh, I'm going to be waiting a while for something to happen, I think. Okay, I just had to check the previous video, so it was 1 minute 58 seconds to transfer all five of those files. And we're at 1 hour 54 minutes, and we're only on to the second file. So I think I'm actually going to call it here because uh, it's getting late, and uh, the battery on the recording phone is going to run out. So I think it's safe to say that if you want to transfer files of any kind of size, uh, Bluetooth isn't the way. Uh, doing it via Magilink would, uh, well, saving you time would be putting it mildly. So I think it really is pretty conclusive that, yeah, Doing it via magic link is going to be the way to do it because, you know, okay, there were five video files, four gigs, probably large enough. But, you know, if you're transferring, say, 200 photos or something, even that alone, you'd be, you know, going off and eating or going for a walk in between or something before it came back rather than quickly transferring it and being able to edit it within a couple of minutes. So, yeah. There really is no competition on that one at all. It's worth noting when I was transferring those video files that the uh, magic link speed was getting up to 38 to 40 megs a second, which was kind of hitting my router or routers, um, you know, theoretical speed limit. So with a faster router, you're probably going to maybe even push that again. So uh, maybe when I get a, another router, I'll be able to uh, test that theory out. But um, obviously there's more than just uh, transferring files and that over. You can, you know, type via the keyboard into any of your applications on the phone and that as well, um, share your clipboards, etc. But I just thought uh, the games are handy because obviously you get a pretty, you know, impactful view of the game on a larger screen, but it also shows the speed because, you know, you don't run into latency issues, etc. So I'm probably going to show a quick clip here now of Asphalt 9 as that is, um, you know, one of the faster games in terms of, you know, draws per second. So you can obviously, the games you know more strategical games are um also great because you you know they're very easy to use with the keyboard and the the mouse and that but um for a game like this it's probably easier to still use the phone itself for the controls etc but this should give you a nice idea of the speed uh, let's see i'm just going to do one of my career ga games here again uh um, let's see i barely know what cars i'm driving half the time in this but uh so let's see class cars let's see mm. maybe i won't do that one because well i could bump that one up i suppose to get it to its recommended ranking Maybe not. You can see there it does look quite nice on the large screen. 
the colors are pretty vibrant. Let's try this one. Obviously, you can you know play music through as well. Obviously, if you want it, because all the sound from the phone is uh, pumped directly into the laptop. So if you know you wanted some speakers and you didn't have another Bluetooth, say speaker handy for louder volumes, you could just do that. And I'm not that good at this game, it's just that the car's rating is quite a bit higher than the competition on this one, so... Mm. 